good evening. Good evening. Oh, isn't it lovely? A worthy cause, folks. Worthy cause. Thank you. You're welcome. You've done a great job, Marjorie. Only the beginning, only the beginning. <laughs> it really is great, Marjorie. I don't see how you did it all by yourself. Why, it's very simple. Bill Weatherby loaned me his backyard theater. I brought the gang over from college. Talent. You made everybody buy tickets, finance. Result, the community chest will be very happy. <laughs> I was going on. I'd better go. Will you excuse me? Surely. Surely. Mr. Blaze. Hi, Rudy. Boss gal in? She ain't out. But you are, Gabby Whitaker. Bless you, pay to get in. Show's on me, fellas. Want you to meet Rosie McGurk. How do you do? Before she bowed a tendon and got soft in the wrong places, she was a right good rodeo hand. We've heard a lot about you. No one's ever equaled the fame of Rough Riding Rosie McGurk. Why, I was riding steers when you was breaking rocking horses, Sonny. What's your billing? Roy Rogers. These are the sons of the pioneers. Please tell you, you, sir. You. Professional etiquette calls for me to bid you welcome. Yeah. Dig down, Gabby. That'll be $2 a piece for the boys and 5 for you. $19? You know this here's a charity benefit. Come on, put up and shut up. The refreshment table's yonder, boys. Go on over and cool off. Thank, Thank you. you. How come you had even changed? Oh, I know they was going to get hooked. I've been to these things before. That's Marjorie's number. so sweet that I repeat means I adore
Larry, you were wonderful, that wonderful. Fine. That's my boss gal. Well, gee, I didn't know anyone could sing so good and be so pretty all at the same time. And she's smart as a trick pony, too. Why, she just finished graduating as a full-fledged Bachelor of Art. Really? I wonder if that much book learning is harmful. Oh, if I know Frank Madden, I don't figure she'll be a bachelor long. Excuse me. Hello, Gabby. Hi, boss gal. Sorry I'm late and missed my boss. Never would have got here if Rogers or six other fellas hadn't toted me in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not six other fellas, so you must be Rogers. That's right, Miss Brooks. Roy, meet Frank Madden. How are you? Howdy. I always enjoy your show, Mr. Madden. It's good. Thanks. Roy's greed put on a nag for your little shindig tonight. Well, um, I appreciate your willingness, Mr. Rogers, but I'm afraid a display of horsemanship would hardly fit in. Well, we wasn't able